Hello and welcome to my channel Simple Science. Today we are going to do chapter 3 machines in which we are going to do pulley. And in this part we are going to see single fixed pulley. Now what is a single fixed pulley? This is from chapter 3 machines class 10. Now single fixed pulley first of all you should understand that it is a circular disc with a grooved rim. It has an axis of rotation which is called axle which is fixed about a rigid support. Now this pulley is used to lift load. There is a string which carries the load, load L. Now the direction of load will be downwards and there is the same string is on the other side pulled on the other side which is effort. So you apply effort on that side and load in this side. Load acts in downward direction and in this case effort is also acting in downward direction. In single fixed pulley effort acts in downward direction. Now this load is acting in downward direction but it is not falling. Why? Because of the tension in the string. There is a force acting in the string which is called tension in the string which balances the downward force of the load or gravitational force. So load is balanced by 1T. Effort is balanced by 1T. So load and effort, they are both are balanced by single T means uh, in both the strands. So now mechanical advantage of this pulley which is equal to load upon effort is equal to T upon T which is equal to 1. So mechanical advantage of a single fixed pulley is 1. Now let us check the velocity ratio. What is velocity ratio? Suppose the distance moved by effort, you are pulling the effort in downward direction say for uh, 1 meter. So by the same distance the load will also move up. So this, suppose the distance moved by load is D. By the same distance effort will also move. So distance moved by effort is also D. So velocity ratio which is equal to displacement of effort upon displacement of load which is equal to D upon D that is equal to 1. So velocity ratio of a single fixed pulley is equal to 1. Velocity ratio is nothing but distance moved by effort. Ratio of distance moved by effort to distance moved by load. Now mechanical advantage of the pulley is 1. That means what? That means the ratio of load to effort is equal to 1. That means load is equal to effort. The value of load is same as effort. Suppose the load value is 500 Newton. So the effort applied will also be equal to 500 Newton. So to pull a load of 500 Newton, you have to apply a force of 500 Newton only. Effort of 500 Newton. Then why do we use this kind of pulley? We use this kind of pulley to change the direction of effort. This kind of pulley is basically used in well. So suppose you are using this pulley in well and you are lifting water or bucket in upward direction. That is inconvenient. So we use single fixed pulley which makes us convenient to pull in downward direction. So the direction of effort, if direction of effort is downwards, it is easier for us or convenient for us to pull the bucket filled with water. So this is the purpose of single fixed pulley. Load is equal to effort. Mechanical advantage is 1. Load is same as effort. So we are not gaining any mechanical advantage but we are changing the direction of effort in a convenient direction. So this is a give reason question. What is the purpose of uh, mechanical advantage of single fixed pulley is 1 then why it is used to change.